Hey guys, Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio. If you've been using OpenTunes for a while, then you probably know what it feels like to be working on a project and then suddenly the program crashes and all your work is corrupted or gone. Although I do use this program professionally, I can't admit that it does act janky at times and isn't the most stable program for pro animation. But what can be done about your lost OpenTunes files? Is the data gone forever or can we recover it? We all got something we wanna protect And if you keep it on your hard drive then you know where I'm at But what would happen if your storage somehow got disconnected Windows telling you that something in your system has crashed Like what do I do? My files are gone, data removed I wasn't careful, I had too much to lose I gotta do something now, better move What if your boy could have data recovered? Files revived from the pits of the gutter I could have all of my data restored And at a higher success for the numbers I'm gonna let it run in a folder Then I'm gonna grab the data and restore it That's right, as you heard from the song, this video is sponsored by Wondershare Recover It. But does that mean I'm gonna lie about this software right to your faces? Uh, no, because that would be harmful to me, my sponsor, and you viewers. So kind of a lose, lose, lose. What I am gonna do though is introduce the program, its uses and benefits, and then demonstrate how it can act as a last resort to save any important lost data. So what is Recoverit? Recoverit is a data recovery software. It's used to restore deleted files from your PC, Mac, hard drive, flash drive, etc. They support the recovery of over 1,000 file formats. You can restore files from any form of storage media, and it claims to have one of the highest data recovery success rates in the industry. Well, we'll see about that. First off, I'm gonna demonstrate the correct usage of this program to show you all exactly where it can help you in the case of lost data, but after that, I'm gonna put this thing to the test and try to recover some corrupted OpenTunes drawings that have been gone for months and see if the program can detect some corrupted or lost files and recover them. If you're interested in seeing that, then feel free to leave me a like below. It helps a lot and let's get into it. When you start the program, you'll be greeted by this screen displaying various locations on your computer as well as some advanced data recovery options on the bottom. Do keep in mind though that the free version can restore files up to 100 MB. And if you take nothing else from this video, then my message to you is to at least have the free version downloaded before any data crisis occurs. I'll explain exactly why that is later, but that's my message to you if you're gonna click away. And uh, I guess if you're going to, you might as well go now. All right. By selecting any of these locations, Recover will start scanning the selected folder or drive for lost files. Do be mindful that this can take a long time. I recently just deleted a lot of video files from my B-roll folder. So I'm gonna see if Recover can detect any of those lost MP4 files and if we can recover them. So I'm gonna to go to my, I'm gonna hit select folder, navigate to my B-roll. So once you hit okay, it'll start scanning the folder to see if it can find any lost files. Okay, so it just finished and I'm gonna see what lost files I can find and possibly recover. So it looks like in all these folders, we have zero deleted files, which actually saves a lot of time that it tells us that right here. But also in this lost location, we have a ton of deleted files. And these look like all random files. This might not actually happen for you guys, but since I use DaVinci Resolve, I actually use a lot of optimized media to make my, my videos easier to edit and less laggy. Making optimized media for your videos makes the editing process way smoother as your computer does not have to do so much work. And I always end up deleting these optimized media files because they're really, really big since the videos that, I, that they're coming from are usually very high quality. So if I wanted to, I could actually restore some of these files, although I won't because the, I don't really have a use for them. All right, so it looks like I don't have any files to recover from that space on my hard drive, which is actually a relief. But if you did want to recover a file, I believe this one is just a representation of what's already there. All you have to do is double click it and then hit recover and choose somewhere you want the file to recover to. After that, it'll create a, its own folder for recovered items. You can navigate there and get your file back. The reason that it couldn't find the video files that I deleted all that time ago, although it did find some optimized media, is that when you delete something, you have to be proactive and recover it right away because if you download something or you write something to your disk, um, you could risk writing over the data that you could have deleted. So if that data is really important, you definitely wanna make sure that you don't write over it. So once you delete it by accident, open up Recover It and try to recover it. 
To demonstrate another use of recover it, which is a more urgent use, I'm going to try drawing something, accidentally deleting it, and then getting it back with recover it. Okay, next I'm gonna export this to the pictures folder on my hard drive. So let's export this, PNGs, and right next to the Krita file, we'll put it here. All right, so let's navigate to the folder and then say we accidentally delete our cactus picture and we go to the recycling bin and we hit empty. So now the photo is absolutely gone. Let's see if we can recover it using recover it. All right, let's select folder. Hit hard drive, pictures, PNG, and select that highly essential cactus folder. Hit okay, and then recover it's gonna run and let's see if it finds the lost file. Okay, and as you can see, without the scan even finishing, we found our lost cactus PNG. So if I click on it, let's see. And we can preview it, this is absolutely awesome. All right, so since we found our lost cactus PNG that we just deleted from existence, all we have to do now is hit recover to recover the file. I'm gonna hit recover. We're just gonna hit pause here actually. Grab our file and hit recover. So I'm gonna put it in the exact place that it was. It does recommend that you write, write it to a separate drive so the success rate of the recovery is a little higher, but I'm just gonna put it to the same folder because we can already preview the file, meaning that it hasn't been overwritten and the success rates are already gonna be pretty high. All right, we are all recovered. Now if we go to that folder, we have our cactus, a <laughs> lost cactus, we got it back. Now, if you're having trouble with recover it, say it's not working or you can't seem to recover your files or find them when you scan your folder, you wanna make sure that you have the system restore option enabled on both of your drives or the drive that you're trying to recover from. I'll leave a really easy to follow tutorial in the description that shows you how to enable that system restore function, but just make sure that you can start recovering once you get recover it, because the whole point is to get you set up so that in case you lose some files, you can just go and recover them right after. Yeah, so it's definitely worth it to get all set up so you can start recovering files. Okay, now for the moment of truth, I'm gonna see what I can salvage from my corrupted OpenTunes files. So you guys probably remember this animation from my fluid slash natural animation video. Now, while I was making this video, I did some side animations. I actually made this um, jump animation for the actual tutorial itself, not for like, you know, I didn't draw it within the tutorial. I use it as an explaining animation. And I was also going to make a running animation, except when I made these keyframes, it corrupted. And as you can see, these drawings show up in red and um, there's nothing here. It was supposed to be a running animation that looked similar to this jumping person right here. Whenever I try to load these files in OpenTunes, so say I select load level, I go to drawings, and then I go to I, I believe, I believe it was I, the TLV, and hit load, the program's gonna crash, watch, it's gonna crash. Yeah, so uh, every time I try to load these files up, this happens. So although I don't think we're going to be able to save these files, maybe I'm just gonna run recover it in that folder and we're gonna see what we get. All right, this is getting uh, starting to slow down my computer, so I'm gonna take care of this. Now, this has a very low chance of working since I've it's been months and I've definitely overwritten any lost data from that folder, but let's just run the program and see what happens. All right, so let's go to a select folder. D, open tune stuff 2020 and then just hit okay. So I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, I assume that we're not gonna find much, but you never know. Okay, so the scan finally finished and we found, wow, upwards 40, 44,000 files um, in that folder. So let's see what we got. And so there's a lost location. I'm gonna see what's in here first. Okay, so this just seems like a lot of the same resolve optimized media that I that I got rid of. So let's go back to the OpenTune stuff. Let me see by numbers. Oh, so it says OpenTune stuff found 4,343 files. So let's see, let's see what it got. Let me make sure that it says it's only deleted files. Apply. Okay, so uh, significantly less, but we still have some files that are deleted that we can recover. So 118 of them and 95 of them are in projects. Okay, let's see what we got. 
Um, so they're in my brand folder. Scenes. What about drawings? Uh, let's see, see about some scenes. All of these seem to be already still here, so I'm gonna go back to projects. So I found eight TIF TIF files that it can recover. Interesting. But it doesn't know where they're located. So these are the ones. These are the raw files. So. I don't, th I think this is just what it, what it found despite, despite not displaying the location. So, um, I'm going to try recovering these and see what happens. I'm actually curious to see what these are. So, um, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to actually see the files, but the fact that it found some TIFF files that we can, we can see is actually kind of cool. So let me see what we got. Um, TIF files or TIFF files are used by OpenTunes. So that's why I was so interested in that file type specifically. Throw this on the desktop and see what we can do. All right, so the file that we just got, when clicking on it, it opens Windows Photo Viewer, like the old version, and it seems like we can't view it because it's either corrupted or damaged. So that's a lesson to you guys. Definitely, always, always, once you lose data, once you accidentally delete something, be proactive and try to recover it immediately because that's probably been there for a while and the data has probably been overwritten, which is why we can't preview it and we don't know what it is. All right, with all that out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you to Wondershare for sponsoring this video. It really helps out my channel. My message to you guys is to at least have the free version downloaded so that when you lose data, you won't have to download the free version, which would risk overwriting the data that you just lost. The free version can restore up to 100 MB files, so that's big enough for any pictures or an OpenTunes file or something like that. If you like this video, leave a like. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Special thanks to Owen Art for supporting this channel on Patreon. If you want to see sneak peeks and the latest news about my upcoming short film, Castle Dark, you can gain access to all Patreon exclusives behind the scenes posts for just $1 a month. All you got to do is follow the on-screen link to my Patreon page. Thank you in advance.